position now. Gate is in position. Wings are open. Wheels are rolling. Montrose Hope, my first pick in the handicapping challenge. Here's to hoping. We'll send it. Here's to hoping to Montrose Hope. For the first time today, we'll send it upstairs to Brock McAkron with the race call, race number one. Thanks, Kurt. Time to kick off a muddy afternoon here at Exhibition Park. Starters for the first are on the turn. From the rail we have Love and Paradise and Stephen Trites. Montrose Hope with John Davidson. Magical Alex, Todd Trites. Paris Bow with Colin DeCourcy outside. That's Ultimate Flying Nun and Kyle Mason. Field of five, Exhibition Park, race number one. Here they come. There they go, off and pacing. Magical Alex, center of the gate, fires out of there from the inside. Love and Paradise, center of the track, Paris Bow into the first turn. Love and Paradise from the inside has command of the racetrack. Outside, Magical Alex. He's looking at the two hole. Paris Bow found himself right there in third. Montrose Hope sees things from fourth and at the back. Ultimate flying nun, she can see them all. Off stride goes Paris Bow in the three hole. Uncharacteristic break for him, and everybody's by okay as they are on route to the opening quarter love and paradise sets up shop on the front end for steven trites she took them by the opening quarter 30 and 2 magical alex left sharp he'll assure himself the pocket trip montrose hope had the three hole he's now on the move on the outside and he'll take over second and up to engage the leader as they come in front of the fans first time around it's love in paradise she's in command of the racetrack up and at him on the outside montrose hope is up to second magical alex right there with them in third Malt, fault, ultimate flying nun is following them in fourth and after the missed you paris bow was at the back horses were halfway home 101 and two in the sticky go and that's love in paradise she's in command right there montrose hope those up to the leader's wheel no place to go right now for magical alex the lines are tight on him in third sliding off the cones here comes ultimate flying nun as they go down the backside it's still love and paradise she's on top outside second that's montrose hope great trip here for ultimate flying nun mason shows her three wide racetrack the race is on now by three quarters 132 and three it's still love and paradise in command of the racetrack second on the outside montrose hopes not going away three wide here comes ultimate flying nun no place yet for magical alex paris bows in it too top of the stretch they turn for home love and paradise outside ultimate flying nun tries to take over center of the track for mason it's ultimate flying nun up the rail comes magical alex late ultimate flying nun found the line might have been magical alex over montrose hope for second it's tight time for the mile 204 flat ultimate flying nun now back in front of the fans comes the winner of race number one it's the five entry ultimate flying nun She's a nine-year-old mare by Driven to Win from the Cam Best Mare, You to Best. Owned by the Ultimate Stable of Greater Lake Burn, New Brunswick. Trained by Don Hubbard. Driven to victory by her son, Kyle Mason. Nice steer here. Ultimate Flying Nun. Last to fire. First at the wire. She scores today 204 flat. Ultimate Flying Nun and Kyle Mason take race number one. Thanks, Kurt. Like I said, my first pick of the handicapping contest is in here. We get 5-5 five, five on one of them. You know what they say on the off track. You're supposed to bet the gray horse, but I didn't. I went with the six. Windermere, I'm all right. 5-5 five, five on the six. Windermere, I'm all right. Good luck to anyone in the contest. Starters for race number two. And behind the starting gate, we have Roland Pegg with John Davidson. I love roses with Mark Egg. Philanthropist with Kyle Mason. You can't fix stupid. Gerard Gallant. Outside, Windermere, I'm all right and Colin DeCourcy. Five of them. Everybody's got their nose on the gate. Top of the stretch at Exhibition Park. Here they come. There they go, off and pacing, Windermere, I'm all right, fires from the outside, inside, I love roses, into the first turn, I love roses, inside, Windermere, I'm all right, outside, these two battling for early position, philanthropist on the outside's now going to grab a seat in third, Roland Peg found 
a spot in fourth. You can't fix stupid. She can see them all at the back by the opening quarter. Windermere, I'm all right. And DeCourcy from the outside. They wanted the front. They're the leaders by the opening quarter. Windermere, I'm all right in command of the racetrack. I love Roses right on her back in second by the opening quarter. 30 and 1, the opening panel for Windermere. I'm all right. I love Roses about a length and a half back in second. Philanthropist gaps out a bit in third. Then we find Roland Peg in fourth, and you can't fix stupid as that the back, but she eyes the outside as the horses come in front of the fans. First time around, they're all strung out. They're chasing the six-year-old daughter of Western Paradise. This is Windermere. I'm all right. She's halfway home under tight lines for DeCourcy. They were halfway there. Fifth. 59 and 2, 29 and 1, second quarter. Windermere, I'm all right, not waiting for anybody. She's going right on down the road. Of course, he lets her roll by the 5 8. I love Roses, though, staying right with her in second. Philanthropist now closes that gap from third. So does Rolling Peg in fourth, and you can't fix stupid is at the back. Things are starting to tighten up as they roll to three quarters. The leader still, Windermere, I'm all right. I love Roses, though, is biding her time in the pocket. By three quarters, 131 flat. Windermere, I'm all right, clings to that lead. She looks over her shoulder, though. She sees I love her roses. These two going to settle it in the stretch. They settle down for the top of the lane. Windermere, I'm all right, tries to battle back inside. I love roses outside, takes it to her. These still still going at it through the strain. Windermere, I'm all right inside, but I love roses finally gets up in the lane. I love roses at the line. Windermere, I am all right, was second. Close for third. Could have been Roland Peg over Philanthropist. Time for the miles. Same as the first race. 2-0. flat. Now making her way back in front of the fans comes the winner of race number two. It is the two I Love Roses. She's a gray mare six years old by Wes Werdo Hanover from the Paris Dexter mare, Another Rose. She's owned by Gary Wright and Sherry Williams of Woodstock, New Brunswick. Gary does the training. Mark Hag did the driving here this afternoon for I Love Roses. Win number three on the season. Win number nine of her career. She stopped the clock today, 204 flat. Congratulations to the connections, Gary Wright, Sherry Williams, Mark Hag, and number two, I Love Roses. Thanks, Kurt. Race three pacers on the turn from the rail out. Joe C150 and Sam Hodgen. About to get lucky, Todd Trice. J.J. Brienne, John Davidson, Joe's Beauty, Steve Mason. Outside, that's Blood Money and Mitch Downey. Field of five, race number three, Exhibition Park. Here they come. There they go, off and pacing inside, bout to get lucky, fires off the wing, center of the racetrack, J.J. Brienne, outside, blood money, left hard, he'll tuck in from third, Joe's beauty away fourth, at the back, Josie 150, round the first turn, on up to the opening quarter they go. That's J.J. Brienne and John Davidson. They set up shop on the front end. They're the leaders on route to the opening quarter. About to get lucky, sitting there right in second. Blood Money studies things from third. Joe's Beauty has fourth and... Josie 150 is at the back, but he's starting to close the gap as they went by the opening quarter. 20. 59 and 3, J.J. Brienne in command of the racetrack. About to get lucky, about two lengths off her in second. Blood Money with his head off the cones from third. Following him will come Joe's Beauty as the horse is coming. Front of the fans, first time around. This is J.J. Brienne and John Davidson. Her leads two lengths halfway home. On the inside, about to get lucky is second. Blood Money now up and at her on the outside. He was third, now takes over second. They were halfway home. Honest fractions for the day. Fifth. 59 seconds flat, J.J. Brienne in command. Blood Money on the outsides, battling with Bout to get lucky. Back to fourth, we find Joe's Beauty. And still at the back, Josie 150 on down the back stride. J.J. Brienne, she looks strong to three quarters. Bout to get lucky's the closest to her, and she's about two and a half back. Blood Money went back to the cones in third on 
on to fourth is Joe's Beauty by three quarters. That's why 128 flat. J.J. Brienne trying to seal the deal on the turn, but about to get lucky's gutter in his sights in second. Blood Money now starting to hit a gear from third. There's Joe's Beauty's fourth. Anyone's in a top of the stretch. Bout to get lucky. Outside takes control. On the inside, J.J. Brienne. Bout to get lucky. Now to the front. Up the rail comes Blood Money. But it's bout to get lucky at the line. Bout to get lucky in Todd Trites. Blood Money got the deuce. Looked like Joe's Beauty for third. Time for the mile. 159 flat. Bout to get lucky. Now making their way back in front of the fans comes the winner of race number three. It's the two entry bout to get lucky. He's a four-year-old son of Ultimate Luck from the Too Funny for Words mare, Ultimate Spirit. He's a homebred of the Ultimate Stables of Greater Lake Burn, New Brunswick. Sifwa Melanson does the training. Todd Trites did the driving for bout to get lucky. This is win number three on the season, win number four of his career. He ties his lifetime mark today in the off going best trip on them I've seen, folks. 159 flat in the mud, bout to get lucky. And Todd Trites capture race number three. Congratulations to the connections, the ultimate stable, Sifwa Melanson and Todd Trites. A new Brunswick bred winner, I might add. Thanks, Kurt. Race four starters are rolling in behind the starting gate on the turn from the inside. We have Bugger Max and Mark Ag. Brandon's Glory, John Davidson. Little Manny and Stephen Trites. Fall Bliss, Mitch Downey. Outside, Pick, Pocket Princess, and Todd Trites. Field of five, race number four. Here they come. There they go, off and pacing, firing off the gate. That's Little Manny in between pacers. Fall Bliss from the inside. That's Bugger Max. He stacks them up wide round the first turn. Bugger Max on the inside has command of the racetrack. Little Manny on the outside's got a different plan. He's now grabbing leather, looking at that two hole, but he doesn't want it. Trites now sits up on Little Manny. Little Manny up and at her on the outside. He wants the front. He's now the leader on route to the opening quarter. Little Manny and Trites take over. Bugger Max stung him away. Now he'll sit on his back. Gapped out back to third. That's Brandon's glory. They were by the opening quarter. 29 seconds flat in the off going. Little Manny sets up shop on the front end. Bugger Max right there in second. Brandon's glory third. Fall Bliss on the cones fourth. And pickpocket princess. She can see them all. She's at the back. Things are starting to settle up here as they come in front of the fans. Little Manny in command. Tracy starts to tap the brakes on him. Bugger Max right up on the helmet. Here comes Fall Bliss. He's first over, and the whip is on his tail. They're by the half. 59 and 1. Good opening fractions in the off going for Little Manny. His lead now out to a length and a half. Bugger Max tries to stay with them in second. Fall Bliss working hard on the outside. Locked up in the box now. That's Brandon's glory. And second over and following cover. Thick pocket princess on down the backside. Little so Manny looks strong. His lead's now at two and a half lengths. Bugger Max on the inside has seconds. Center of the track, that's Fall Bliss. Three wide pickpocket princess. They went on by three quarters. Little Manny opens up by four. 129 and two. He's trying to seal the deal on the turn. Bugger Max trying to re-rally from second. Brandon's glory still on the cones from third. Top of the stretch. Little Manny. He turns them on through the stretch. Little Manny by five. Now six. He's pacing a Away. It's all little Manny. The battle for a second here. Bugger Max inside. Brandon's glory outside. But it's all little Manny at the line. Battle for a second. Went to Bugger Max over Brandon's glory. Time for the mile. Good one here today. 159 flat. Little Manny. Now making his way back in front of the fans comes the winner of race number four. It's the three-entry Little Manny. He is a four-year-old gelded son of Articulator from the Blissful Hall Mayor, The Good Wife. Owned by Dean McLaughlin, Brad McLaughlin, Mark Taylor, and Stephen Trites of New Brunswick. Charlie Miles does the training. Stephen Trites did the driving, put Little Manny on top all the way. He stops the clock today, 159 flat in the off going. That's win number six on the season, win number 11 on his career. Congratulations to the Connections, Dean McLaughlin, Brad McLaughlin, Mark Taylor, Stephen Trites, Charlie Miles, and Little Manny.
Rail out, we have Katie Overdrive and Kyle Mason. Thank you, all my fans, with Stephen Trites, Emperor with Jeff Lewis, Eb and the Boys calling to course the outside, Woodmere Ideal Art, Todd Trites, Post Time, Race 5, here they come. There they go, off and pacing, great start inside, thank you all my fans, in between pacers, that's Emperor, far outside, Woodmere, Ideal Art, these three fire into the turn, thank you all my fans, inside has command of the racetrack, he looks outside, that's the big time favorite, actually he's even barred from wagering, Woodmere, Ideal Art, and Todd Trites, they're surging for the front, thank you all my fans, those gonna take him away as before he releases them, Woodmere, Ideal Art, now touches down to Pylon Command, he's the leader by the open quarter woodmere ideal art now has command of the racetrack 28 and 3 the price paid in the slop to be the leader right there second that's thank you all my fans emperor studies things from third kd overdrive he holds down fourth and at the back ebb and the boys can see them all as they start to bunch up in front of the fans the first time around and the rain really picks up as they come to the half it's woodmere ideal art in the driving rain he's the leader halfway home for todd trites woodmere ideal art got them there fifth D8 and 2. Halfway home, Woodmere Ideal Art. Thank you, all my fans. The closest to him in second. Emperor still on the cones from third. KD Overdrive. He bides his time from fourth. And at the back, Ebb and the boys. Nobody moves yet because the fractions are fast. On down the backside they go. Woodmere Ideal Art. His lead still by two lengths. Thank you, all my fans, though, is keeping track with him in second. Emperor still there third. KD Overdrive's now off the cones from fourth. Fourth by three quarters, 129 flat. Woodmere Ideal Art looks strong. He's trying to seal it right here. Thank you, all my fans, trying to track him down in second. KD Overdrives battling for third with Emperor top of the stretch. Woodmere Ideal Art shows the way home. Thank you, all my fans, is second. Far outside, KD Overdrive. But Woodmere Ideal Art, he just drives away through the stretch. It's all Woodmere Ideal Art at the line. KD Overdrive. Overdrive got up for second over. Thank you, all my fans. Time for the mile. One fifty nine and four. One fifty nine and four. The mile time here in race number five. His way back in front of the fans comes the winner of race number five. It is the five, Woodmere Ideal Art. He's a six-year-old gelded son of Articulator from the Western Ideal Mare, Very Ideal Hanover. He's owned by the Ultimate Stable of Greater Lakeburn, New Brunswick. That's three winners on the card for the Ultimate Stable. Two winners for trainer Cifois Melanson and two winners for driver Todd Trites. Congratulations to the connections here. The Ultimate Stable, Cifois Melanson, Todd Trites, and Woodmere Ideal Art. He stopped the clock today, 159 and 4, 159 and 4 on the deteriorating racetrack.